Our next topic is the uh, plant web. Plant web is an important concept of the uh, Delta V architecture. In the, you can see that a wide range of uh, stations and products are available in the plant web. And uh, Delta V and the designers of the Delta V, they are happy because of the wide, wide range of uh, well, field devices, safety devices, and wide range of the engineering and uh, management stations can be integrated in into uh, their system and uh, will create a very complex and very flexible uh, solution for process uh, automation. Uh, I will uh, explain the plant web concept in a uh, very detailed. Uh, I um, divide uh, the, the, this uh, picture or this model in two uh, sections. The first section is the Delta V, uh, Delta V LAN. Delta V LAN is the uh, part of the um, uh, network or part of architecture that is uh, configured and that is um, handled and managed by the Delta V. Uh, you have the stations like uh, this can be application station, Pro Plus, you have the switches here, you have controllers, ordinary controllers, safety controllers, and you have the ordinary IO signals and uh, intelligent field uh, devices, like the devices that are connected to the uh, foundation field bus. Uh, the whole uh, stations and uh, nodes in this layer, I mean up to here, all the stations up to here are configured and uh, handled by the Delta V. We have uh, four types of uh, products in this category. We have the safety PLCs, we have ordinary uh, controllers with ordinary traditional oils, we have 420 milliampere signals to control valve, to control uh, or to uh, bring data from transmitters and also some switches and lamps, uh, binary actuators. This, this part is the the, the most uh, important and the biggest uh, portion of the plant web. We have uh, intelligent field devices like you know you know devices on the foundation field bus. We have uh, you know some uh, some other uh, networks that can be integrated into Delta V like uh, Profi bus, ASI bus and devices on uh, Modbus RTU and Mod Modbus TCP. So these are the uh, control level. We are in the control level here and uh, there are plenty of stations available in the Delta V, port uh, Delta V portfolio. I will explain them in the next uh, presentations to you. Uh, all this uh, section is controlled, managed by Delta V and is called the Delta V LAN. But the, the data that is uh, generated uh, in the process uh, can be transferred to a higher level, can be transferred to the uh, management layer. Uh, and uh, you know there are several uh, management uh, software packages to generate some valuable data and analysis. They are not included in the uh, basic Delta V packages. You can receive those important and critical data by the application station here in a higher level in the plant lab. There are many softwares that
can gather the data by the OPC link and provide valuable, uh, man, uh, valuable information for managers. So in a plant web architecture, we have a delta, delta VLAN and a plant LAN and different component, components uh, that I explained here. Uh, so we also have uh, this, uh, you know, the the detail that I, you know, briefly explained. Intelligent field devices, scalable platforms like uh, traditional I/O signals, integrated modular software that are available on the different stations in Delta V, like maintenance station, operator station, application station, and the rest management uh, packages and integrated SIS that the, that's the safety system uh, the next topic will be RAS remote access service uh, it's a very beneficial package if you uh, have several Delta V stations in remote area and you have a, a single control room and you want to have access to several Delta V uh, networks from a single point. Uh, Delta V remote access service is very helpful. Uh, it's, it's possible to uh, uh, transfer data via satellite and other means of communication, fiber optic and this is that that's a valuable uh, package you can use that uh, if uh, if it's uh, it's difficult to uh, provide a control room for each tiny delta via station in a very remote area it will definitely uh, help and the structure is somehow similar to this Uh, this is the ordinary Delta V uh, architecture up to here is the uh, your local Delta V network you have Pro Plus operator station engineering station and the application station this, these are some firewall and controllers uh, data in the local Delta V LAN can be transferred uh, or exchanged to a, a remote uh, service uh, by ProPlus or by application station. So um, you can use one of these uh, stations to, to perform like a gateway to the RAS. Uh, let me show you uh, this RAS in a uh, great detail. So you have your controllers, you have your local uh, stations, and by uh, uh, through application station or Pro Plus, you have the chance to link this local uh, Delta V stations and network to the you know the next. Uh, in the next station possibly can this can be a very local very small station to control you know uh, some water treatment uh, plant a small plant in a remote area you may have five or ten small stations and you want to have the central uh, control room in a you know somehow a uh, somehow a place that is too far from from these uh, uh, lo uh, local Delta V stations you can use RAS RAS is possible through the uh, satellite communication uh, microwave links and this fiber optic and these type of things and our final topic is uh, Delta V safety uh, Delta V safety can be configured and can be programmed at, in a same station. 
uh, they have the same uh, software platform and uh, it, you know, configuration and programming uh, has, will, will be done in the same station like the uh, safety for uh, Siemens while you are working with PCS7 you can program both uh, uh, basic process control system PBCS and the safety uh, control system uh, and for you could go you also have the chance while you're working with uh, Centum VP you can uh, program the safety part uh, in the same manner so uh, our intro introduction is finished and we will move to the next topic thank you for watching